Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Atlanta, Georgia. Ed, Sandra, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Oh, Sandra, you're on the air. Hello, Sandra. Yes, sir. How can we help you today? Um, yeah, I'm calling to find out. Uh, I'm having on steady gait and tremors in my right and left leg. My voice keeps fading in and out. And stiffness in my body. I don't have energy. And I feel tired quickly. Okay. So I wanted to get How much advice you weigh? from Dr. Wallet. How much you weigh? 192. 192? Yes, sir. And how tall are you? 5'9". Okay. And do you have any other issues, any diabetes or high blood pressure, arthritis, anything like that? No, sir. I have a little bit of arthritis. Okay. But mainly you're concerned about your fatigue? Yeah, the unsteady gait and the tremors in my right and left leg, occasional tremors, and my voice fades in and out. Okay. So tremors. Okay, are they worse at night when you lay down? Um, yeah, when I wake up in the morning, the stiffness is worse. Okay, the, the tremors are worse. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Shar, what do you think is going on here with uh, Sandra? Um, probably extremely astro, osteoporosis, I would guess. Yeah. How, how old are you, Sandra? I'm 58. 58, okay. And, uh, yeah, many of the symptoms you're describing could be due to osteoporosis and arthritis. Uh, could be, do you have a back problem, do you know? No, sir. A neck problem? No. Okay. And let's see here. Mm, did you ever have a stroke? Not at all. Okay, you don't know, okay. And let's see, do you have children? Yes, I have three. Okay, do they have any health problems? No, no, no. Okay, all right. So what would you do, Char, for this 192-pound lady, 5'9", 5'9", uh, I'd like to see her weigh like 170 maybe, so she needs to lose 22, 25 pounds. And um, the tremors are worse in her legs when she wakes up in the morning, which tells you it's probably a positional thing. Uh, laying down will slowly make it worse over the evening. And so what would you do for her? I would get her on two healthy bone and joint packs. Okay. That's for the bone and joints, that's the back. And let's see here, what would you do for the fatigue? Well, for that she could take the rebound for energy. Okay, and what would you do for brain metabolism and function? I'd give her the synaptive. Synaptive and maybe some de-stress too. Okay, so give us a call in a couple of weeks, Sandra. Let us know how you're doing. Again, two healthy brain and heart packs per month. Uh, two large bottles of glucogel, so you can take 15 of those a day. I'd throw in the Synaptive, uh, two bottles a month, three twice a day. The de-stress capsules, three twice a day, two bottles a month. You need to lose that 10, 25, 50, 75, 100 pounds or more. Contact your young duty associate and ask for the book Hell's Kitchen. The subtitle is The Cause, Brunch, and Cure Obesity. It also discusses type 2 diabetes and the metabolic syndrome. And when you buy the book Hell's Kitchen from your young duty associate, ask him for a free copy of the CD by the same title, Hell's Kitchen. Don't forget, being overweight and being obese has nothing to do with lack of exercise or eating too much. It's a simple nutritional deficiency. And, of course, we do have the healthy weight loss pack to help you along the way. And the magic of this whole system is you'll never gain the weight back. That's right. The magic is you'll never gain the weight back. You don't need surgery to deal with all that excess flappy skin because it just doesn't happen. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Pacifica, California. And, James, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, James. You're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Thanks so much for taking my call. Yeah, I, I have uh, um, a problem falling asleep after every meal. I fall asleep for like a couple hours, and my whole sleeping schedule is all screwed up, and i got to fix that. Okay. Very good. How long has that been going on? Oh, gosh, 20 years at least. Okay, and how much do you weigh? I weigh about 220. And how tall are you? I'm about five nine okay yeah i'd like to see you weigh 175 180 maybe so you need to lose about 40 pounds we'll help you with that and let's see here char what's going on when he gets drowsy after meals uh it's a narcolepsy narcolepsy has the old old timey name what's the new name 
uh, hypoglycemia, reactive, you know, because yeah. he eats, and then within a half hour after meals, he gets drowsy. It's called reactive hypoglycemia. You're exactly right. Narcolepsy is the original name for it. It goes way back in history, narcolepsy. And so this is a blood sugar problem, and he weighs 220 pounds. What would you, what would you do for him diet-wise, first of all, Shar? First of all, I'd get him on a gluten-free diet and no sugar, obviously, no burnt animal fat, no salad oils or canola oil or olive oil. What about, gluten, what about gluten-free bread? Well, it's full of sugar. you got to be careful with that, yeah, too. I wouldn't even. I'd just go grain-free right now because even, even gluten-free bread, uh, one slice of gluten-free bread, whether it's white bread or whole grain, uh, your blood sugar will go up higher and faster than uh, a heaping tablespoon of sugar. And so uh, what about fruit and fruit juices? Be careful with that for a while, too. <laughs> yeah, you can't have that, right? He can get everything he needs from fruit and fruit juices from vegetables without the danger of the sugar. So he's got to be sugar-free, exactly, right? No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no sugar, as you said. And then, um, let's see here, what would you give him from a supplement program? I give him two healthy blood sugar packs, and uh, and for the weight, I give him this uh, uh, ASAP. Okay, this, yep, yeah, absolutely. Very good. So, yeah, two healthy uh, blood sugar packs would be um, three of the Sweeties twice a day and a full dose of everything else in the healthy blood sugar packs twice a day. And uh, sh uh, make sure that um, it wouldn't hurt for you to take your blood sugar when you get all drowsy like that. Take your blood sugar and see how low it drops. Usually it gets down to around 40-something. That's why people get all drowsy and they go to sleep. This is um, the cause of a lot of cars crossing the center line and having wrecks. People say, oh, they had a heart attack and passed out and no, they had reactive hypoglycemia or narcolepsy. And um, would uh, how many eggs would you have, James E? Oh, I would have him have at least anywhere from six to ten a day. Six to ten a day, that's good. And three of those, I'd have him take before he goes to bed at night. Three scrambled eggs and butter. No oils, right? No margarines, no salad dressing, cooking oils, but uh, butter. He can scramble some eggs before bedtime, have those instead of... Uh, cake and ice cream. He wants to make a sugar-free ice cream. He can do that with our Slender Effect shake. And uh, let's see here. I'd go ahead and give us a call every couple of weeks. Uh, James will walk you through this. You've been suffering like this for 20 years. Your doctor needs to go to jail because it's very simply dealt with as a dietary change and a supplement program to give you all 90 essential nutrients. And you're going to be a new man.